Hello YouTube, this is Al once again for Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in and for hitting that play button. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that too. And uh, today, we're in a very special place in Brooklyn. This is called Sheepshead Bay. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the area, you know this is probably one of the most scenic areas in all of Brooklyn. It's got a little bit of everything here. We have retail stores. Macy's Backstage just opened up over there a couple of years ago. We have very exciting restaurants, famous restaurants, like Lundy Brothers back down this direction. We have Randazzo's Clam Bar, if that's uh, what you like, seafood. Of course, this is, uh, I'll show you on this side. This is one of the places in Brooklyn where we have active working fishing boats. And what you do is you come out here early in the morning, uh, the boats leave. There must be about 12 or 15 boats that are down here that are active. Some are uh, strictly fishing boats, some are party boats, like the one we have right back here. This is called the, uh, the Star of New York. And you can actually rent that out for a wedding or bar mitzvah or anything like that. But most of the boats that are down here, they're fishing boats. Now, Sheepshead Bay, of course, if you're not familiar with the uh, geography, Sheepshead Bay, if you go right out this bay, it'll connect up with the Atlantic Ocean. So at one time, there was a gambling cruise line boat out here. And it lasted about 10 years because uh, the rule is if you go 12 miles out into the ocean, you can actually have gambling. And uh, there is more gambling in New York State now, but um, if they go out 12 miles, it's considered uh, international waters. So um, essentially, um, that was going on for quite some time, and then uh, that went away. But the thing about the fishing boats here is, these are um, fishing boats where, like I said, you come in the early morning and you uh, go on, I think it's like $20 a day, and the boats have like lunch on there for you, and um, you can get, if you don't have a fishing pole, you can rent one out, you can rent the bait. And the thing is, each fishing boat uh, will tell you what fish they're going for, because depending on how far you go out into the ocean or into the bay, you'll catch different kinds of fish. So depending on what you want to catch, will depend on maybe what boat you want to go on to. And uh, they're really cool. I mean, they've got boats out here called the Atlantis and the Golden Sunshine and the Pink Lady. You know, it's pretty interesting. Um, another great thing about Sheepshead Bay is it's got this great little, it's not a boardwalk, it's more like a concrete boardwalk. And uh, this right here is Emmons Avenue. And it goes, you know, I'd say about a mile up and down. And if you head, you know, back behind me this way, you have the end of Sheepshead Bay, uh, and on, which becomes Knapp Street. And Knapp Street, there's a huge uh, UA theater with, uh, I believe it's 21 screens they have in there. And uh, that's pretty cool too. Uh, my favorite place in all of Sheepshead Bay is Rollin' Roast. Rollin' Roast has been a Brooklyn icon for, I believe it's 40 years now. And I want to do a separate video just for that one. But Rollin' Roast there, their claim to fame is they'll put cheese on everything. So they've got hamburgers, they've got shrimp, they've got uh, french fries, turkey sandwiches with gravy, you name it, it's here. So um, if you haven't been to Sheepside Bay for a while, or if you've never been, I really suggest you coming out here. They've got plenty of parking, some of it free, some of it uh, paying. Um, they've got a lot of restaurants, like I was telling you. One of the newer ones that's opened up is Applebee's. That's down on this section too. Lots of little places, lots of little pizzerias, cafes, uh, pretty much you name it and it's here. And um, there's also a famous bait shop down there. Uh, I think it's called Stella's. And Stella's has been around for as long as I can remember. And it, it, that's where, you know, if you're going on the boat, you could go in there and buy yourself a fishing pole or you could buy yourself a, a, a bait, whatever, whatever you need. So, oh, also one more thing. There's a bridge right behind me. There's a couple of bridges here, but there's a bridge right behind me, and it's a little farther down the block, and that goes over to the other side of Sheepshead Bay, which is where the beach is. And this right here is Brighton Beach. Now, of course, all of these beaches connect. If you were like an Olympic swimmer, and uh, you jumped in over here, you could swim all the way to Coney Island. And um, pretty amazing. So on that side on Brighton Beach, you know, it's a pretty clean beach. They've got uh, lots of things for the kids to do over there. Ice cream trucks, all the usual things you'd imagine. And uh, 
They've got bus service down here too. That works out well. The Q train, I believe, actually comes to Sheepshead Bay. So, a lot of things to uh, say and do over here. Hey guys, how you doing? How are you? We've even got guys going on a morning walk. How are you? So, uh, a lot of friendly people down here too. So folks, I'd like to thank you once again for tuning in. Uh, have a great day. And I'll come on down to Sheepshead Bay. Perfect time of the year, day or night. Alrighty, stay safe. And we'll see you real soon. Thank you for tuning in. Bye now.